Roger D. I'm going to make this a quick one. Uh, so basically, it's just uh, sealed lead acid batteries for a, a scooter, and I'm trying to work out basically whether they would work and what the the ideas are. So the options are like this: for a scooter, you've got three sealed lead acid batteries, and in a series they add up to 36 volt, still at seven amp hours or thereabouts. Uh, to make that out of AA batteries, you would need 90 of them. So these represent 10 of them in a line. 90. Uh, so as far as I could work out off the net, 120 of them I could get off a site for $45. That's apparently, uh, sorry, no, $73, but £45. And you can get three sealed lead acid batteries for about 66 quid. So, right, basically, the way you'd have to join them up, I'm not sure if this is going to be the clearest of videos, but that represents a pipe, that's a pipe, with uh, 10 AA batteries in it, and on the end of each pipe there would be a way of sort of, you know, like, squashing the batteries in the length of pipe, uh, and to make it up to 36 volts for an electric bike, uh, you would basically get three, three of these... Sorry, you'd get uh, nine of these on the go, but join them together so there's three groups of three. Cause, uh, and that would... I'm struggling a little bit to explain it, to be honest, but it, when you wire batteries up in parallel or series, it changes the amp hour. So when you wire them up in series, the amp hour stays the same. When you wire, wire them up in parallel, uh, the amp hour doubles... So that's how you manage to get the equivalent of uh, three sealed lead acid batteries would equate to 90 AA batteries. So it was uh, actually my mate's idea, really, because we were going on about batteries and stuff. But yeah, so that's uh, that's that. I'm sure no one will ever watch this video, but wicked. In a bit. Is it ever going to fucking stop? <laughs>